there actually is a fishing simulator update. This isn't clickbait. <laughs> Get it? Because when you fish, you got bait on the end of your fishing rod, and that's how you catch the fish. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. Okay, I'm just kidding, but we're actually going to play the fishing simulator update. I haven't played this game since the last video I did on it, which was the only video I did on it, but so many people are talking about this game on Twitter and stuff, and it's just a fantastic game. My first reaction was that I love it. I spent a lot of Robux on it because it's a solid game. And today I wanna to make insane progress while also covering entirety of this update. So if you guys are excited to see everything in this new update, I need you to smash that like button, all right? Hello peeps, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. Wants you guys to get it to that many likes. I don't know if that's possible, but like just hit the like button. It takes like a second, boop, done. Easy. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a video. Let's get fishing, baby. Oh, wait, also, also, also. I uploaded a new vlog in the vlog channel. Go subscribe to the vlog channel and check out the vlog. It's in the description. It's the funniest vlog yet. I love it so much. And that's like the content I want to start doing a lot more of this year. Still going to be doing Russo Plays forever, but that's just a side channel if you want to see more IRL real life stuff, okay? Anyways, Big Daddy Russo. Let's go ahead and get to fishing. So in this update, they actually added a new jungle island, four new boats, 10 new fish, and a few improvements and bug fixes. And it says in the next update, they're gonna be adding new islands, pets, boss battle, and much more. Right now, they don't have pets, but they're going to have pets, and that's gonna be pretty dope. I don't know what they'll do. Maybe they'll help you fish, but look at this. this I discovered this at the end of yesterday, or not yesterday's, but last video on this game. I discovered that they have like different skins and they look amazing. Like right now, I think I'm using the Japanese cherry blossom one. It's literally a freaking treat. <laughs> and then I can, I can equip a different skin. I got a pencil. I have a pencil and I'm not afraid to use it. I'll hit you with it, chef. Whoopsh, whoopsh, whoopsh. Our budget's kind of small. I have to do my own sound effects. But yeah, this is my floppy pencil uh, fishing rod. So let's just, there you go. <laughs> and if you guys forgot how to play this game, you essentially just fish. But the fishing is cool. It's kind of like Stardew Valley where the bar just constantly moves to the left and you have to click to keep it in the green. And then bam, you catch a fish and I got a rare bluefin tuna. And what you can do is you can either sell them right here to make some money or, oh, I forgot I can sprint, or you can bring them to your aquarium right here, which is super, super cool. And you can put them in the glass and then like decorate your aquarium. So my aquarium, I upgraded it in the last episode. This is like the first tier and it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. You got some, you got some fish swimming around. You got some coral and you got some seaweed, some bubbles, whatever those are. You got some barrels, but check this out. This is tier two and there's areas for fish here. And then there's tier three, even more areas for fish. So like basically you go up to it, you hit edit and put some fish in there. So like, let's, let's put these fish in there and then bam, there's more fish in this tank. It's so sick. You can just fill it with fish. So one day I'm gonna catch like a thousand fish and just fill this inventory. Maybe by the end of this video, who knows? Keep watching to the end to see how much I fill up, which probably, I don't know, who, who knows, okay? I gotta get the fish in basically. Now comment down below how far you guys got in this game. If you got some insane fish, let me know. Or if you made it to like the final island, I'm actually kind of nervous because the new island is the jungle and wait, where's the jungle? Of eruption, is this the new island? New jungle island, is that this? Ancient shores? Is that the new island? I guess it is, but I'm not, I'm not like high enough level to get there. I'm gonna have to do a lot of leveling. That's the only hard part. They also added new boats. So let's go check out the boat shop first. We're gonna see what new boats we got, see if we can get some of those. Then we're gonna fly to another area and uh, we're gonna go ahead and level up a bit. We need to catch some rare fish get our XP up and try and complete this little index right here. We we kind of got a lot of the beginning ones, only one in eruption, nothing at the rest. We got almost all the ocean pets. This looks like it's some sort of shark or piranha. It kind of looks like a Pokemon. It looks like that shark Pokemon. Welcome back, matey. You need anything? Yeah, we do. We need the new boats, brother. Whoa, here's, here's one of the new boats. It's a Viking boat, 13K gems. So what's the one I have currently? This is the one I have right now, the armored boat. I can't remember how much it cost, but it was like a lot of coins. The next one is garden boat. This thing, I don't even think is as good as my, yeah, I'm not really sure if it's as good as this, but it has a different specialty. It has like a fish hook speed, which is cool. These have specialties. I don't think the other ones have specialties, did they? Yeah, I don't think they do. So these new boats have specialties. There's this garden boat. There's this golden sailboat. 
earn extra coins every catch. That's actually pretty cool. So not only can you upgrade it, but you can have six passengers and you make a lot of money every catch. That's really cool. What I want is more XP. If that was one, I would definitely buy it. This one has insane health. It's a giant pirate ship, 1200 health, but it's only got a uh, 45 speed. Actually, that's not actually that slow. It's 8,000 gems though. And then this one, the Viking boat, this is the biggest one. It has less health, but I think it, it has more passenger seats. So fishing rarity level increases with the number of people on. Ooh, that's amazing. Wait a second, that's amazing. And then this one increases sea creature damage. So this one is really good to survive. This one you can plunder, you can be a pirate. This one is strong and fast. It's not as powerful, but it has so much like slots for people. And if I fill it up, we're just catching rare fish all day. That's gonna get us more XP, isn't it? I think, you know what? We might just have to go for it. I'm going for it. I'm spending all the Robux on all the gems because this is fishing simulator. One of the best simulators out right now. Let's get the Viking boat, baby. Bam! We got the Viking boat. Let's take it. Now I need to upgrade this thing a lot. Let's just spam this. Actually, we need to get the health up. We don't really need the speed to be that much. The health needs to be way higher than 400. That's not that much health. We need to make this thing like mag daddied out as strong as possible. There we go. There we go, 545. Let's get it close to 600. Okay, that's all we're gonna get pretty much. And then I'm kind of almost out of coins, but the thing is there's nothing else to buy. Um, there's just 10 new fish that we need to find. So that looks to be good for now. Let's just take it, take that for now and we'll go check out this thing. Hopefully some people in this game join me and then we can go sailing together and catch some rare fish. The only thing is I need people that have an, a high enough level to actually like make it to the next area. So hopefully they can. Let's at least hop on real quick and see if these guys uh, join me. So let's spawn our Viking boat. There it is. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and set sail. Where's the, the driver's seat, bro? Sail. All right, I'm sailing. I'm sailing. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six people on this boat already. That's pretty good. That's not bad. We got six people. So it's gonna, it's gonna make us catch a lot more rare fish. Plus we have this little creature finder or this, uh, is this a creature finder or like a rare thing finder? I think it's like a rare fish finder. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go closer to the new island, the eruption island. I know that's not new, but it's like new-ish. Oh, I'm like not, I need to like start going that way. I need to start going like straight. Oh wait, maybe we need to turn and go like that. There we go. Okay, now we're making our way closer to eruption island. So that's where we need to get closer to because that's gonna have more rare pets. Um, okay, we're a little bit closer to Eruption Island. Let's go ahead and let's let's fish right here and see what happens. I'm gonna fish right here, and since I have so many people on my boat, I might be able to get a super rare pet or super rare fish. So let's see what we catch here. That looks like it's a clownfish. It's just a clownfish. It's rare, but it's not insane. We'll try another one. And if I can get something really good out of this, then that's a good thing. But if not, I might have to use that creature finder thing and see if I oh, this is a big one. Dude, this one's taking forever. It's an epic marlin, let's go. And I'm sailing. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use this. Ooh, they're all around. They're actually all around us right now. Um, let's, let's try it right here. So if I fish right here, that seems to be a rare spawn. So let's get this. And how much does an epic marlin give us? Like we have all the, we have all the multipliers and the boosts and stuff. So I don't think, nice. That's a pretty good amount right there. I mean, I, I leveled up from that, so I don't I don't know exactly how much XP it gave me, but it was it was pretty good. This kind of looks like another. Oh, what is this? I don't think I've seen this. It looks like it's either a small marlin or something I've never seen. It's an uncommon angelfish. Okay, so I have gotten it, but it's a little bit smaller. But see, I didn't get that much experience for it. Is there any way to get like a boosted experience? Yeah, I mean, I already have everything that you can get. I don't think there's a way to do it. We have these, which give us coins and gems, but not really anything else. We have the we have the uh, Twitter codes. We have the quests. I forgot about quests. I think you get experience for that. I'm not really sure. Maybe you just get money. I honestly can't remember. But anyways, we got to catch a lot of fish right now. That's basically our goal. So one, we're trying to complete the index right here. Um, there's only one more fish that we haven't, oh, there's two fish that we have not caught in the ocean. So captured in the ocean. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me know in the comments how far you guys got in this update and if you completed the index yourself, what kind of boat you got, etc. I wanna know how far I am. Whoa, 
I did not mean to throw it that far. What is that? <gasps> is that a killer whale? It's a flying whale. Do you guys see that? It's literally in the air. What is that? What is that? I need to go see it. Sail. That is ridiculous. Let's go that way. We got to see that killer whale, bro. I want to see that thing. I don't know where it went, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm able to find it anymore. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if it's going to like load. It's probably just underwater and gone now. Did you guys see that? It was flying in the air. I think that's one of the new killer whales that's out. Not really sure. All right, let's go ahead and keep fishing. I'm just going to have to do this for a little bit and try and level up because in order to get to the next area, we basically need level 25, which is going to be a little bit. I mean, oh gosh, I, I can't look at the map while I'm doing this. The fish escaped because I messed up. We need to be level 25 to get the next one and then 40. We're going to have to do a lot of leveling is basically what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and start leveling up and I'll come back in a second when we're level 25 and ready to go to the next area. This isn't even that far from the last clip. It's probably been like 10 minutes. And I already completed the ocean index. I had to show you guys real quick. I got the sunfish. It's a mythic pet fish. I keep saying pet. It's a mythic fish. Then we got the rainbow parrot fish and it's a legendary. So these are all like rare, epic, uncommon. These are mythic and legendary. I'm assuming mythic is like the highest tier, but this is it right here. The sunfish. It's, I thought it was a shark, but it's like some sort of weird of two finned looking thing. But there it is. All of the ocean ones are, are captured. And uh, we got them all. Port Jackson, there's still two that we haven't found back over there. So I might go back over there just to get them. But the thing is, they're not that rare. They don't give me as much XP, I think, as the ocean ones. I think those are going to be better. Eruption Island is probably going to be even better. So I kind of want to head over there now that I completed the ocean. And I guess we're going to fish off of Eruption Island just to kind of get every single fish, like I was saying. So let's let's just ditch this and go over to Eruption Island while holding our pencil. And uh, we'll go over here. I also kind of want to trigger a quest. Can I, can I trigger one? Hey, what's up, bro? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we need to get this guy's refrigerator or something. That's, that's like what the quest is. I'm not really sure. Oh, look, there's people in here now. I don't think there was someone in here. I'm gonna fish off Eruption Island for a bit, see if I can get some of those pets fish i keep saying pets i've played too many pet games see if i can get some of these fish and uh this guy wants a screeny sure sure just take it brother hey probably about an hour of gameplay later here we are unlocking the shadow isles i know this i'm pretty sure is the new update so i technically haven't even discovered it yet but you know what whatever we've been playing fishing simulator and look at how far we got in the collection aspect of the game Everything from Port Jackson, everything from Eruption Island besides one fish, Volcano Lava, o uh, Ocean, and Shadow, Island, Shadow Isles and Ancient Shores we haven't gotten yet. But um, yeah, I actually unlocked the Fire Rod or the Lava Rod and I was able to get myself the, uh, the Lava Pets. So that's pretty cool. Now what I need to go, do is go to Shadow Isles right here, which is the new area, but apparently there's some sort of thing I need to like trigger, which these guys said they're gonna help me out. So huge shout out to these guys that are helping me. Oh, I got stuck. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so it's a lot of stuff to climb. And uh, this is the new area. I don't know like what's happening here. I, I, I thought I was supposed to be fishing. I guess I guess there's like an obby just to get to the island. This is a lot of climbing, bro. Jeez, I'm getting lost. All right, here we go. We made it to the top. Uh, right here is, I don't know what this is. Oh, here's the shop. So here's the caster that buys some stuff. We don't want to sell though right now. We want to go this way. So let's go on this. I like this. This island is cool. Okay, let's go over here. Do this quest. He says to do this quest. So there's a quest in here we need to do. There's also this girl right here, Sharkira. <laughs> so I need to I need to get her some shark heads. So we'll do that. And then here we get the exploding bomb apparently if we do this one. What do you need? Okay, we'll do it. 20 common fish. Got it. Okay, so we need to bring 20 common fish. Oh, we already did it. Okay, now we need to bring them 10 uncommon. We did it. Now five rare. We did it. Now two epic. We did it. <laughs> so it really helps if you already have the fish in your inventory. Um, one legendary fish. Oh my gosh, I think I have it. I literally did the quest without even having fish. So guys, that's a little life hack. If you want to do this quest, if you already have a bunch of fish in your inventory, you basically complete the quest immediately. So here is the explosive thing. Um, I guess we need to explode this little area right here. 
So, okay. Uh, wait, what, what's happening here? I don't see any text. Not gonna lie, I think my game kind of glitched right here. It's supposed to do like a cutscene, and there's like text, but I don't see the text appearing. So I may have to like reset or something. I'm not really sure why it's doing this, but it's definitely not normal, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna have to reset my character and then I'll come back there. So the game like got super glitched. I don't know what just happened there, but I really hope that it didn't disable what I just did. Like I actually completed the quest and I got the explosive thing, I think. I don't, I don't know if I actually got it, but like I definitely did enough to get it. Ooh, look, I claimed that reward because I did the lava obby, let's go. Um, but I don't know where the explosive thing is. I just know that I definitely completed the quest. Do I like have it in my inventory or something? Here's the boat warp orb. Uh, here's all the fish. I don't see the explosive thing, so I don't think I actually have it, but apparently I'm supposed to get it. I don't really know. I gotta climb this whole thing again, which is annoying, but basically I had to give that guy all those fish that I caught just for the quest and I completed it. And then the game like broke it like the, the screen was broken and I, I don't know what happened there. So I had to reset my character that didn't work and then I had to leave the game. So hopefully that didn't reset all my progress, but at least I'm right here again and I can check. Please don't reset my progress. The thing is, if it did reset that quest, I literally have to give him all those fish again. Okay, here it is. See that rock over there? I've heard there's a secret cave behind it. Inside that cave is a pond in which special fish swim around. If you're lucky enough, you may even catch a mythical fish, the rarest type of species in the world. The only way is to blow up that huge rock that is blocking the entrance. There's a TNT keg located on Sailor's Viewport right across the bridge. When you pick it up, carry it quickly to the entrance of the cave and place it down. Make sure to be fast before it blows up in your face. All right, so I guess we gotta go to the Sailor's Viewport and then, uh, yeah, which is right over here. Then we gotta get the barrel and bring it down to that thing really, really quickly, or it's gonna explode in my face, which is not good because that will kill me. So hopefully I can do this first try. Like the video if you guys are enjoying and let's go ahead and get this thing. Wait, is anybody in here? Nobody's in here. All right, so we basically just gotta go to the side and then I think we use a key and then we gotta grab it. Pick it up, go! All right, so I gotta do this quick. So I don't have much time. I do not have much, okay. Um, not really sure what happened. I guess maybe because I dropped it, it like exploded. I mean, there's no way that's the amount of time it gives you, right? Please tell me I can just try it immediately again. Um, okay, there it is. All right, so let's not drop it this time. Let's just keep walking. So you have about a minute to do it. You kind of don't want to fall with it. So you gotta actually go down. You can run though, you can run with it, which is good. So I gotta keep running. I can't let this explode in my face. I gotta run, oh my gosh, do I have to run down all of these steps? That's kind of hard. Oh gosh, oh gosh, um, come on, come on now. Come on now. This is tough, this is tough. Ah, I can't find where I am. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Here we go, here we go. Whew. Okay, we made it, um, here's the thing and then drop it right here. And then I guess I gotta just wait for it to explode. So give it 10 seconds and then it'll explode, hopefully. Is it close enough? Oh, yes, okay, there it is. So it unlocked the rare special fishing area and now I guess we can fish for super rare mythical fish here. So this seems to be the best place to fish for right now. Obviously, I don't even think I covered what's in the update. I'm pretty sure the update is like the new area that like ancient isles or whatever, and I haven't gotten there yet simply because I was very behind in level. Oh, I, I got a lot of experience for that. So it's definitely gonna be easier to level up here. But basically, if you look at my map right here, um, ancient shores, I think is the new area. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more grinding. And then once we're at ancient shores, I'll show you guys the new stuff. But we also got the new boat, which is cool. Okay, so I'm sort of a failure because I'm not gonna be able to go to the new area, but at least I showed you guys some new rare uh, fish species and we caught a lot like to catch up in our, our little index right here. And plus we also got like the best boat in the game. So let's actually go back to that boat. And what we're gonna do is take all the new fish we got. I'm gonna show you guys them, but I'm gonna put them in my aquarium so they look a little bit neater and nicer. So let's go ahead and boat wart orb. I guess I guess we just switch this out. How does this work? Let's, uh, you need a boat to use this. I have a boat. Do I need to like summon my boat? Is that what it's for? I don't exactly know what that does. Anyways, I'm just gonna go back. I'm just gonna fly back to Port Jackson because it's way quicker this way. 
And then we're gonna put all these pets in our aquarium. Again, let me know in the comments down below how far you guys got in this update. Like, did you get to the new area? It's not that easy, level 45, unless you played this game a lot. Like, even if you spent Robux or whatever, it's pretty hard to get to the, the last area. I mean, I have a lot of Robux spent on this game and I still am not that far. Let's actually check the skin we just got. What does it do? 5% more strength. See, some of these have like pretty good stats, but this one gives me more rarity. So that seems to be the best one right now. But anyways, let's go to the aquarium. Guys, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe and hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And let's fill up this aquarium. We need to get this area, the tier three area, filled up a bit because we have nothing here. Let's edit. And if we just put fish in here, let's put some legendaries and stuff. Put some of these guys, put this guy. I'm trying to make it all unique species because that would look really cool if it's just a ton of different kinds of fish swimming around. This one, like some magma ones that we don't have yet. Let's get these guys in here. Look at all these different fish. Like all of these are different, except some of them are probably the same. There we go. And uh, that's what that's what we got going on in this tank right here. So a bunch right there. I want to put some in these. How do I switch? Oh, that's how you switch. Okay, you just switch the camera. Let's put this there. A lot of these are like the same color, but we got to fill it up. We got a stingray. We got one of these guys. Oh, this new mythic we just got. That looks pretty sick in there. Look at this. Let's go. We also need some like seaweed. We don't have any like seaweed and stuff. Let's put this. Let's put like some rocks. Some rocks here and there. Put some, uh, put some little plants. Just make it nice. When people see this, I want them to think it's the best aquarium ever. Whoops, I keep doing the wrong thing. And then, uh, how do we how do we go over again? I forget. You like move the camera. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's put some decorations in here. So we got this guy. Let's put these plants. There we go. Uh, we got some. We got a little barrel. Put those there. Why not? And they got a lot of fish in there. Okay, let's do this next one. Uh, couple barrels here couple boxes why not change it up and then we got some big boulders okay it looks kind of weird but you know whatever this is what we're going for we also got this this grass pretty much just scatter it along everywhere and that's looking like an aquarium right there now it just needs some fish magma fish right here look at this my aquarium is so dope this is a tier three aquarium and it's it's looking pretty sick, I cannot lie. And then we got a lot of cool fish there. So this is my tier three section. It looks amazing. It's got a bunch of different fish in here. I still want way more fish, but I like the decorations. I like the, I like what we're doing with the place. Here's one we need to edit right now. We need to put more fish in here. Uh, we have too many of those. Let's put this guy, let's put this guy. Get some magma fish in there because they're a bit different. And then let's put some here as well. Oh wait, they're already in here. Okay, let's put this mythic. Let's put two of those. And then they, they swim all around. So look at this. This this one's gonna need a lot more fish, but for now it's got a good amount. Let's put some decorations though, because that's definitely what it's missing. We'll get some little, uh, some grass area right here. Just all over the place, kind of scattered. So it doesn't look as weird. And then this side definitely needs some. Look at me, I'm an interior designer, it's whatever. Um, these people are kind of in my way, but you know, let's just pretend I can see. And then maybe a little stump. I haven't put that anywhere. Little rocks. And maybe right here as well. And there we go. I like that for my decorations. So this is my aquarium. It's looking pretty lively. I can't lie. This is sick. I love this part of the game because it gives you like a customization apartment type feel and then it matters when you catch your fish and then it's just this cool place to show off to friends and other players that join you. So this is my little tier one aquarium. I, it's a little, it needs a little work, but this is my tier two and three. Looks amazing. And we also got the best boat in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We did cover some of the update, but I wasn't able to go to the new area, which I'll probably get to in the next episode of this. I got to grind it a little bit off camera. So let me know what you guys thought of this update because I love this game and I'm definitely going to play it some more. Also, comment down below your favorite color. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to check out the new vlog. Because subscribe to my vlogging channel. Follow me on all my social media, Russo Talks, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy and have a great day. Bye.